I want you to think about the skills you have right now as a music therapist and what you do when you get a referral to a client. So typically your first step is to conduct an assessment. We talk to other treatment team members or the physician, whoever made the referral. You might talk to the family. Um, you actually complete that full assessment. You document all the behaviors and situations that you see and you determine a treatment plan. So you find out you know, what are the goals, what are the needs, what can I do through music therapy to make uh, a difference for this client? How can I approach them and help them with their functional needs? And you provide the treatment, you evaluate the treatment all along the way, you document all along the way, report on it, and either decide to change course, maybe the techniques you're using are not effective and you need to try something new, um, or maybe you're having great success and you're ready to move on to the next goal. It's the same approach when you think about advocacy, okay? No matter who your audience is, your audience could be a potential uh, employer, it could be a new hospital, it could be a new job opportunity that you're wanting to pursue, okay? That could be your audience. Or your audience could be a state legislator, it could be a state agency, it could be somebody who has really strong decision-making um, contacts who could really make a difference in increasing access to music therapy services. Or it could just be a neighborhood group, it could be a support group, say um, a Down syndrome support group for the parents of individuals diagnosed with Down syndrome. It could be an autism support group or um, I know in my clinical work I did a lot with um, cancer support for bereavement groups, for hospice. There were lots of opportunities to always be advocating and educating people. So no matter who your audience is, think about how you approach that opportunity.